This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. So I was going to talk about a specific use of uh, nitroglycerin in a uh, condition that we don't see a ton of, but can be pretty interesting. So what used to be called flash pulmonary edema, we don't usually use that term very much. We call it more sympathetic crashing acute pulmonary edema or scape. And basically it's a condition where people come in fairly hypertensive, usually like well into the 200s. And they have this kind of sympathetic surge that causes this elevated blood pressure and acute hypertensive heart failure with a lot of pulmonary edema, shortness of breath, hypertension hypoxia, respiratory distress, I mean, they come in looking pretty sick. And it's not the, what we used to think of as like a gradual onset of worsening leg swelling and gradual shortness of breath. It's a fairly acute and it's mostly pulmonary symptoms. So they come in looking pretty sick and one of the treatments is BiPAP, which is very important to get these people on BiPAP early. Non-invasive ventilation can really help and get them better. But medication-wise, nitroglycerin has really important role and it can lower their blood pressure and it also does what's called venous dilation so it relaxes the veins and allows a lot of this pulmonary edema to be redistributed and really helps and if you don't manage their blood pressure with aggressive nitroglycerin sometimes they get worse and don't do well so one of the things I was going to talk about is the dosing of nitroglycerin in these patients a mistake that's sometimes made is people start nitroglycerin at the traditional dosing that you would do for like someone with just chest pain who's stable and you might do five mics per minute and titrate up every couple minutes by going up by five mics so you go 5, 10, and gradually increase it up. The doses for these patients is really big doses of nitroglycerin. So studies have looked at push dose nitroglycerin and they use one to two milligrams of nitroglycerin every three to five minutes or if there's infusions they're starting at 200 to 400 mics a minute getting rapid control of the blood pressure and symptoms and then titrating down and in studies using these large doses of nitroglycerin early on reduced intubations reduced need for ICU admissions shortened overall hospital lengths of stay and there was not a lot of hypotension associated with the patients tolerate these doses very well and then you can back off off and they look so much better within an hour or so if you treat them aggressively up front. So we don't see a lot of it, um, but it is something that when it comes in, people look pretty sick, but it's one of these nice things that we can turn around really well with BiPAP, aggressive nitroglycerin. People look a lot better pretty quickly. Thanks, guys. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.